Three and. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, we seek the Lord's mercy. Your ascension heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayer with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as a creator and thine, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. From the book of Numbers. While they were at Hathroth, Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses because of the Cushite woman whom he had married, for he had indeed married a Cushite woman. And they said, Has the Lord spoken only through Moses? Has he not spoken through us also? And the Lord heard it. Now the man Moses was very humble, more than anyone else on the face of the earth. Suddenly the Lord said to Moses, Aaron, and Miriam, Come out, you three, to the tent of meeting. So the three of them came out. Then the Lord came down in a pillar of cloud and stood at the entrance of the tent and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both came forward. And he said, Hear my words. When there are prophets among you, I, the Lord, make myself known to them in visions, I speak to them in dreams, not so with my servant Moses. He is entrusted with all my house. With him I speak face to face, clearly not in riddles, and he beholds the form of the Lord. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. When the cloud went away from over the tent, Miriam had become leprous, as white as snow, and Aaron turned towards Miriam and saw that she was leprous. Then Aaron said to Moses, O oh my Lord, do not punish us for the sin that we have so foolishly committed. Do not, do not let her be like one stillborn, whose flesh is half consumed when it comes out of its mother's womb. And Moses cried to the Lord, O oh God, please heal her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be merciful, O oh Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O oh Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O oh God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your presence, and blameless when you pass judgment. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Master, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. 
you and with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. After the crowd had eaten enough, Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and go to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. And after he dismissed the crowds, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But by this time the boat, battered by the waves, was far from the land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning, Jesus came walking toward them on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. Jesus said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You have little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. When they had crossed over, they came to the land of Gethsemane. After the people of that place recognized him, they sent word throughout the region and brought all who were sick to him and begged him that they might touch them, even the fringe of his cloak, and all who touched were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. I guess it's just my imagination, but when I read the first reading, that stuck out more than any other part of the readings, especially when God called Miriam, Aaron, and Moses out from the tent. And I tried to imagine what Miriam and Aaron's face must have looked like being called out. Did they realize that what they had done was a sin? That God was going to hold them accountable? It's not possible for us to know why they were against Moses' wife. If it was a case of prejudice, racism, or just not taking one of their own. But they were clearly out of line for making that judgment, and God punished them for that. One of the questions that is asked when couples are preparing for marriage is, does anyone object to this wedding? That's been removed, fortunately, from the liturgy. But who really does have the right to object to a couple that wants to commit their life together? Is there an element of sin in that judgment? And will God hold them accountable? We now come to God our Father and bring our needs before Him. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, may all her members continue to deepen their faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all nations, may they use peaceful means to resolve conflict and division. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hunger to grow in faith and understanding, may they be satisfied. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves, may we, may we work to satisfy both our earth
earthly and spiritual hungers, we pray to the Lord. Amen. 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 For those who suffer as a result of war, violence, and natural disasters, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may eternal life be theirs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, we thank you for the gift of faith that draws us together. Receive the prayers of all your people and grant us wisdom to recognize and accept your will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, that through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, true to the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual food. Blessed be Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice of the Lord. Praise the Lord for his name, Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so, accompanied with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God our host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord until you come again. Therefore, as
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've gathered us here to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, Claude, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. With your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only say the words, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen.
the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Now may God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.